664, that's solid. That's solid, you can definitely increase that though. Uh, for corp, do you have to file tax every quarter? You don't have to file tax every quarter. Some is suggested to do that, but if you have a good um, uh, uh, tax strategist, every quarter, you know what I'm saying, they'll look at your books and they'll tell you how much money you need to set aside for your taxes. You know what I'm saying? So um, actually, it's May, end of June. Okay, not to the end of June. I don't have my meeting until the end of June. So yeah, every quarter. 784 and I don't know what to do. I mean, you're, what do you want to do, bro? What do you want to do? A 784 is cool, but the score don't matter, you guys. So it depends on your credit profile. You can have a 784 with one account and get denied for everything. You know what I'm saying? 30% rule, a good rule? No. 30% is way too high. Get that utilization down to single digits. Um, how can I check my scores with TransUnion Equifax for free? Your FICO score is not going to happen. Credit card was free, though, but the score is a Vantage score, though. But you're not checking your FICO scores for free. Okay, 19, what should it be? At 19, you should have a couple open a couple open primary accounts. Not too many, just a couple. So in one C, if you have less than five open accounts, hit the link in my bio, scroll down. It says starter accounts, all right? It's a Google Doc. It walks you through everything. Uh, 709 credit score, want to buy a house soon, two accounts, 20 years old. How should I go about it? You probably want to add a couple more accounts. Um, so he said he's 20 with two accounts. So hit the link in my bio, scroll down, it says starter accounts. I got some more accounts that you can get, some easy ones to build up that profile, and then you can go ahead. And then your whatever mortgage lender you're going to use, they'll give you some pointers too. 